This video is a tutorial on how to stake the Celestia TIA token for passive income and airdrops. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, nothing in this video is financial advice or a suggestion that you do or do not buy a specific cryptocurrency. This is simply a step-by-step -step tutorial. Now let's get into the video. To start, let's go through a little bit more background about the TIA token itself. TIA is the token for Celestia, currently rank 49 on CoinGecko as of the time I'm making this video, with a market cap of around 1.8 billion dollars and what celestia is is it brands itself as the first modular blockchain network and it offers something known as data availability for modular blockchains that launch and i know there's a lot of technical language there i have a full overview of celestia that i'll link down in the description if you want to learn more about what celestia is but the opportunity here with celestia is that because different blockchains can launch using celestia many of them have a desire or incentive to actually airdrop their tokens when they launch to people who are staking Celestia's TIA token. And you could think about why that is, right? If you are launching a new network, you want stakers who are going to be aligned with your vision and stakers who are going to be dedicated to holding and staking the token. And their idea would be people who hold and stake this TIA token would be good candidates to hold their token. And we already had one of these announced earlier this week, Dimension, which is another blockchain for that makes it easier to launch app chains known as roll apps dimension launched and dimension is actually airdropping their dym token to celestia stakers you can see they have two percent of their total supply in fact two percent of their total supply is reserved for tia stakers and truthfully i expect a lot more like this in the future so i personally am holding and staking tia tokens to qualify for more airdrops here's how you can do it First thing you'll need is the Kepler wallet to hold your TIA tokens in. Website is kepler.app. If you've used the Cosmos ecosystem before to hold Atom tokens, Osmo, etc., then you probably already have a Kepler wallet. And uh, if you don't, you just go to kepler.app and you click on install Kepler and you can add it to pretty much any major browser. It doesn't say it here, but I have it on Brave browser. It's also compatible with mobile devices. Uh, and then once you're there, you'll need to acquire some TIA tokens. And depending on where you are in the world, you may have access to an exchange that you can buy TIA tokens on directly and withdraw them to your Kepler wallet. Uh, however, you may have a tougher time if you're in the United States finding an exchange that allows you to buy and withdraw TIA. In that case, what you'll want to do is actually buy ATOM tokens, A-T-O-M, and you'll want to withdraw those to your Kepler wallet. And once you do that, you will get them in your wallet. It'll look something like this. I have 2.34 Atom in this wallet. And then we're going to have to go through a few steps, uh, but we're going to basically transfer these cross chain to Osmosis, which is a decentralized exchange that you can use to swap Atom for TIA. And then we'll transfer those TIA tokens uh, over to the Celestia network itself. And if that sounds complicated, don't worry. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And so let's say you already have your you already have your Atom tokens in your Kepler wallet. What you'll do next is you will click here and you will click on IBC send. And we're going to do an IBC send over to Osmosis. And I'm just going to send a single Atom over. You can see it looks like this. Transaction fee of two cents. Make sure you don't send all your Atom over because you're going to need something to pay for transaction fees. And I will approve this. And the transaction should just take a few seconds to actually transfer the atom over to osmosis and after about a minute you can see that the ibc transfer was successful so now we have our atom token on the osmosis network now all these different networks are all within the cosmos ecosystem however they're all technically their own blockchains which is why we have to do these ibc transfers but we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to connect our kepler to osmosis just like that one important thing to note with osmosis is you can actually pay for transactions in either atom or osmo and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to convert the atom to tia tokens now but i'm not going to convert all of it because i'm going to want to save some of that atom to actually pay for transaction fees um, and if you can see that this is a little bit less than one that's because i had a failed transaction when i was testing this out the first time uh, so i'm going to click on max but i'm going to subtract a little bit to save some for transaction fees so i'll do zero point let's do 0 0.95 just to be safe 0 0.78 tia we will swap it the transaction fee 
I'll pay for the transaction fee in Atom. Again, you can do that. We'll close it, we'll approve it, and it should just take a second to actually make this swap of Atom to Tia. And you can see that the transaction was in fact successful. I now have the Tia on here. And so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do an IBC transfer of that Tia to the Celestia network. Again, this is gonna be in our Kepler wallet. So we're using Kepler for all these different networks. I'm gonna click on Atom. I'm gonna click, or rather I'm gonna click on Tia, excuse me. I'm gonna click on IBC send. I'm gonna do destination chain as the Celestia network. And then I'm gonna do the maximum. And because in this case, we're not using Tia to pay for our transaction fees, we actually can do the maximum. I'm gonna click on next. You can see the transaction fee. Again, you can pay in Osmo Atom or actually even pay for it in Tia, but I'm gonna pay for it in Osmo because I have some Osmo in this wallet. Click on next, click on approve. And this should just take a second to transfer the Tia over to the Celestia network. And you can see the transaction was a success. Uh, while that runs, I wanted to show you that if you are transferring from another chain that might not be in the Cosmos ecosystem, like Ethereum, Solana, various Ethereum layer twos, Binance Smart Chain, you can also use RocketX. So when I was buying Tia for the first time, I converted Sol from Solana over into Tia and I use RocketX to do that. So RocketX basically is a bridge slash exchange that connects hundreds of blockchains and it taps into centralized exchange liquidity to allow you to do that. So RocketX is another good option to go directly to Celestia. Let's check back in our Kepler wallet now. We can see the IBC transfer was a success. And if we look at TIA now, we see we have that 0.78 TIA and it is listed as being on the Celestia network. Great, that's what we need to do to stake it. So we're gonna go now to the Kepler dashboard. Website for this is wallet.kepler.app. And let's refresh this because it was open before we had the TIA tokens in our wallet. And we will see here that yes, indeed, we have our 0.7877 TIA tokens. Perfect. So what we wanna do now is we want to select stake over here on the left and we're gonna select Celestia. We can see it's defaulting to chains that it sees that we have tokens for. Celestia, in addition to those likely airdrops, has a guaranteed 16.32% APR. However, keep in mind, this is inflationary. We'll click on Celestia, and then there's a lot of good validators here. Generally speaking, I try to avoid one of the top ones to contribute to the decentralization of the network, and I wanna look for ones with relatively low commissions. When in doubt, my go-to is Stakecedo. Stakecedo is run by Cryptocedo, popular YouTuber that covers the Cosmos ecosystem. I want to support his work because I've learned a lot from it. So I'll select Stakecedo. I'll click on stake and then you don't want to stake all of it because you need some to pay for transactions. So I'll just do 0.7 TIA and I'll select stake. And the one thing I'll note is if you want to qualify for airdrops, you should probably strive to do at least one TIA token preferably more, but at least one TIA token. Another thing to note is that there's an unbonding period of 21 days. So once you stake this, you won't be able to unstake it. Well, you can unstake it anytime, but it will take 21 days for you to actually receive the unstaked tokens. So just be mindful of that before staking. You know, you won't be able to sell this for three weeks. So we will approve. Uh, and then by the way, when you're unbonding, when you're unstaking, you don't receive rewards. So if the token goes up and you decide you wanna sell you're going to have to wait 21 days. Um, transaction was successful. Now, if we refresh the page and we scroll down to my staking, click on manage, and we can see here we are staking in Celestia. These other staking amounts are from previous tutorials, which perhaps some of you have watched. But we are staking our Celestia. If we want to unstake it, we can click on the position and click on unstake at any time. However, note while it's unstaking, you will not receive staking rewards and it will take 21 days for that amount to be liquid. And you would just type in the amount you wanted to unstake and click on unstake here. However, I'm not gonna do that because I actually want to stake. If you wanna learn about more potential Cosmos ecosystem airdrop strategies, I have a free guide that I published on my Substack. 
showing different networks that you could stake on to likely qualify for airdrops, as well as specific applications, such as some of the injective network that don't have tokens yet and may airdrop one in the future. I'll drop a link to this guide down in the description of the video. And that's all for today. For more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.